Hi, Dr. Lee. It's Sam McCall. Um, I just want to let you know that I got all of the information on the fertility reconstruction, and um, thank you so much for sending that to me. But I just uh, I don't think I'm ready to have a baby just yet. Okay, bye-bye. need some help? No, no, it's okay. I've got it. It's sure. mostly PI files. I'm good. Where is Spinelli? Uh, he's tasting wedding cakes with Brenda, Max, and Milo. Oh, well, that explains it. Explains what? Well, between me and you, mm -hmm. Spinelli's kind of been slacking off a little bit at work, but I mean, I get it. He's been busy with all the wedding plans. Yeah, or with the book that he's writing. What? Don't ask. Uh-uh. No way. You think I'm letting that one go? Okay. What do you mean? He's, it's Spinelli's a book. It's The Secret book. Life of Damien Spinelli, and supposedly we're all in it. You, oh. me, Carly, even the quarterman. Fun. Did you read it? No. Spinelli's guarding it with his life. Oh, come on, Jason. I am sure you are going to be the ultimate action hero. You're going to be strong and brave. Oh, ooh, you're going to be betting all the women. Mm -hmm. You're going to have your martini shake in the Okay, if he head. writes anything like that about me in the book, I'm going to kill him. Stop. I think it's sweet. Why are you so easy on him? You're never really as mad as you ever say you are. No, I'm mad. Stop. It's a stupid book. No, you're book. not. Stop it. Leave poor Spinelli in his book alone. Guess what? I need your help with something. What do you need my help with? Michael and Abby. It's just, should I talk to her? Should I try and see if maybe she will see Michael? Well, I know that Michael's upset, and uh, he tried to get her to change her mind, but she won't. I was afraid you were going to say that. You know, I can, I can see how much Michael needs Abby. And I know how that feels. I, I, I left to find one with her protectors the very moment I got Ferris Smith's text. How was the cake tasting? Yeah, how was that? Mm. Oh. Well, the mocha cream was sublime. <laughs> uh, yeah, I am ruefully aware of the fact that I've been neglecting my PI duty. So I am ready to put my nose to the grindstone as it were. Well, that's fantastic, because look what I brought. All the files. Oh, I, mm. I will be intent to the task. Good. You know what, Diane's been, uh... Bugging me to do a bunch of legal stuff, so I'm just gonna take care of it. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. I'll be here. Yep. Where Samantha appears troubled. Is Stone Cold's welfare in question? Oh. No. It's just Michael's been going through such a hard time and it's been really tough on Jason. I would just <sighs> I really wish Jason had something to distract him by. And this document concerns the insurance for the warehouse. Sign where indicated. You have a pen? You have yet to comment on my curt demeanor. You're always like this. The man I am seeing has been working overtime to guard Brenda Barrett. Now, I understand that you and Sam must also be very frustrated due to your lack of privacy now mm -hmm. that Brenda is staying and staying and staying at your penthouse, mm -hmm. but to subject the rest of us to those yeah, same well, Brenda constraints. Brenda needs guards when she goes outside. You know that, but Diane. Jason, Max called me this morning from a wedding cake bakery, and then they were off to the florist, and then they were going to look at possible venues for the ceremony. I mean, come on. The frivolousness of these excursions, doesn't that worry That's you? That's why Max is there, to guard her. My poor Max is exhausted every single night. Complain to Sonny. Oh, Mr. Morgan, I wasn't aware you were coming in. We have some, um, we just have some business to finish up. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll join you. I'd like to familiarize myself with your legal affairs. I only deal with Diane. Do you have a problem with me, Mr. Morgan? Diane is my lawyer. She handles things for me. Well, I certainly do respect your right to privacy. However, I may need to interview you in connection with the case against Brenda and Dante. Okay, you need to settle this lawsuit out of court. Brenda can't be forced to, to testify under any circumstances. You and Mr. Corinthos have certainly been clear about that. 
However, I would be negligent if I did not prepare Sean. Brenda to testify. Sean, I'm glad you're back. Sean Butler, this is Jason Morgan. Uh, Jason Theo has brought Sean aboard as our new security advisor. Why do we need a security advisor? This one is a cheating spouse. Total cliche. Husband is having an affair with the secretary. Oh, uh, yes. Passion-filled trysts in the dark of night, lit only by the neon glow of the stairwell exit sign. Actually, they meet in motels. Ah! Red tawdry, yet fitting. Mm. Consumed as they are by forbidden love. Hey, I know about the secret life of Damien Spinelli. I apologize for my meandering thoughts, and I am fully aware that you've been shouldering more than your fair share of the workload. So are you tiring of our partnership? No, I, I am most honored to be half of McCall and Jackal. It's a dream come true to ply the detective trade with one so talented and clever and brave as you. Hmm. I guess I've just been a bit creatively stifled, as it were. Okay, well, maybe you just need a distraction from losing Maxi. I must admit to a seizing of the heart at the sight of Maximista and that brashly overconfident Dr. Hunter. Hey, look at me. You are kind and loyal. You're amazing. Yet I lack the suavity and easy charm that Maximista appears to be so magnetized to. But not so in the pages of my novel. I think you need something to get over, Maxie. I promise you, you're going to forget about that. I mean, you are fabulous. You're going to make some girl really, really, really lucky someday. And if you ever forget that, ever, you come talk to me. Grateful for your kindness. Why don't you forget about this? Give me this. Forget about it today. We'll get back to it tomorrow. There is no rush. Most welcome suggestion. Linda's defense hinges on my proving that Banovic attempted to abduct her. Therefore, I, I'm in the dubious position of putting a dead man on trial. <clears throat> Therefore, I need a detective. And as investigating uh, Mr. Banovic may rile his employer, the Balkan, I will need personal security. Henceforth, I have hired Mr. Butler. I, for one, will feel much safer knowing that Sean is providing protection. Is that what Max is for? One can never be too secure. Mr. Morgan, I have an illustrious record of legal victories. Put simply, I know how to win. And in my professional opinion, this man's services are required to exonerate your friends. It is in your best interest to accommodate me. Fine. There is one thing you can help me with. I'd like to hear what you know about the Balkan. Hey. Hi. Where's, uh, where's Spinelli? Oh, he left. He left? You get much work done? Oh, but I don't know. He was a little preoccupied, so I'm finishing up on my own. I'll just be a second there. That's fine. Just take your time. Okay. Okay. I'm done. I wasn't so bad. Jason? I'm assuming this is yours. Where did you find that? I... Oh, I thought I, um... Are you... Thinking about having a baby?